project started with several prototypes. I had to make sure everything would fit together. And the design process actually took just as long as the actual build process, if not longer. And x -Carb is pretty good at doing all the cutting. And you can see here that there's some flex in that piece. Getting leather to cut properly on the X-Carve is a bit tricky, so I'm laying these out on the floor with some books on top to get it to be nice and flat. And I'm cutting from the suede side of the leather, because if I cut from the leather side of the leather, the top grain side, the leather will tear apart. I had to jerry-rig something because the leather started flopping around in the middle of the carving. Lesson learned. Because leather is rarely consistent in its thickness, some parts of it needed to be freed after it was cut by the X-carve. Parts of the rail turn out just fine. Other parts did not cut all the way through. I should have used a secondary waste board so that I can set the depth of cut deeper and avoid having to free the parts out later. For the inlay, I used titanium white acrylic paint mixed with structural grade epoxy at an approximately 1 to 1 ratio by volume. The epoxy mixture was allowed to cure for about 24 hours. I then freed the blade with a coping saw. The excess acrylic and epoxy mixture was pretty easy to remove. It is considerably softer than the epoxy alone. Originally I wanted this to be an inlay, but as I was working I thought this high relief looked a lot better, it provided extra grip, and now it actually works as braille. These little ebony inserts are a pain to make. They have to be cut in a specific direction. And if you're like me, you're slightly allergic to the dust, but I think it was worth it. I made the blade collar from a piece of maple. Uh, I made it by hand because I want the fit to be extremely precise and extremely tight. And the X-Carp would probably do it, but I don't think I had the proper measurements when I designed it. But the handmade, um, fit is extremely tight, just the way a joint should be. I mixed epoxy with some brass powder to join the collar to the blade, but I also used the epoxy to fill in some of the holes left by the acrylic epoxy mixture. After wrangling the grinding wheel, I removed a lot of the excess epoxy and ebony on the suede side of the high relief. I also ground away most of the excess collar and blade material. The handle and sheath are made with a piece of ebony insert between two pieces of leather material. So apparently it takes a lot of clamp to hold that sheath thing together. Alright, so this is the last time you will see epoxy being applied and I'm just epoxying in the handle onto the base of the blade and I'm using the sheath to sort of help um, push everything together so I can clamp it without having to put a lot of pressure onto the blade. This is the ugly ducking phase of any given project where it looks like it matriculated out of a septic tank. I am sharpening the blade here with a knife to make sure that it's sharp enough to cut paper but also that it's sort of centered. I'm scraping the surface of the blade to make sure it's nice and smooth, but it also serves to get rid of the ebony that got stuck into all the parts not supposed to be in. I knew the shellac would change the color of the white. Before applying it though, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. But after seeing it, I do like it. I designed the leather pieces to be slightly oversized compared to the ebony inserts so that later I can scrape away the excess leather and create a nice and clean interface between the ebony and the leather. The leather I'm using is a high grade tooling leather. The surface is super smooth and it is too smooth for this project so I decided to use some sandpaper to give it more grip and texture. 
I sealed all the edges with uh, some beeswax and then hot iron. Well guys, I learned a lot from just doing this little project. And I hope you enjoyed the little video as well. I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. And I hope everyone has a wonderful new year. And I hope to see you again next year.